I'm Larry Menti. Welcome back to the Delaware Way. One of the family attractions along the waterfront is the Delaware Children's Museum. And here to talk more about some of the exciting things they're doing about at the museum is Nicole Kindbiter, who is the Director of Marketing. So what are some of the exciting things you're doing there? So uh, we have something new going on all the time at the Delaware Children's Museum. Uh, in addition to our seven exhibitions, which are not your typical museum exhibitions when you think of museum. This is a museum just for kids. So it is all about them and play and having fun and exploring and discovering new worlds. And so everything that they can do at the museum is something active and engaging. Uh, so from our giant stratosphere climber, which kind of looks like, um, it looks like uh, Saturn, the planet, it's this giant sphere with all these climbing planks that they can negotiate around um, and then it has a large uh, ring around the top for uh, that higher view. So so on the outside, can the parents see in? Absolutely. And then the, the kids, how far do they climb up? Uh, well, it's 30 feet in diameter. So it's, it's, it's pretty big and adults are encouraged to climb too. Uh, we encourage uh, parent, parental involvement in every aspect of play at the Are museum. Are you kidding me? That's yes. you, 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 you put your <laughs> child in there, you get a few minutes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you have some parents too, who, you know, they have their inner child and they just walk in and they're like, can I climb in there? And you know, absolutely, um, they can, although there are some, some more grown-up friendly paths uh, within the stratosphere and then some not so grown-up friendly paths. So you might see a couple adults get a little stuck from here and, uh, from time to time. <laughs> is, uh, that the, is that one of the, the fan favorites? So that was one of the absolutely. things the kids, because I can see my kids would probably just <laughs> run right to that yeah. and get in it. Well, and it's the first thing you see when you walk in the door, too. You know, you have our, our admissions desk where, you know, the parents are, that's where they're focused, let me go get my tickets or sign up to become a member. But then you have the kids, and especially if it's their first time there, their eyes just get real big, their jaws drop, and they just start pointing and, and can I go play? Some of them just, you know, forget the line entirely. They go one way, the parents go another. Then, then what can the kids do? So then you move into um, all of our other, um, you know, exhibition galleries. We do have an art studio that changes programming every single week. Uh, you can go in there and paint, you can go and you know make a sculpture depending on what activity we're doing that week. And then it brings you into um, our Power of Me exhibit. So it's all about human body, um, healthy minds, healthy bodies. We have a digi wall. So uh, most people are familiar with a rock climbing wall, but mm -hmm. ours is touch sensitive. So you can actually hold on to the grips and they light up and play music while you're climbing. Uh, that, it, it is amazing and, and it's funny because uh, when you were first going to come in and when I talked to you about it, I, you know, because I have two young kids, I've been to so many children's museums and so many museums like this. Honestly, I haven't heard, seen or heard these things. Oh, uh, I've been to the Children's <laughs> Museum in a couple in New Jersey, in mm -hmm. Philadelphia. So this is new, but I think that's important for you, Absolutely. you know, because people think, well, why would I take the drive to Wilmington, or why am I going to go to Wilmington to go to, go mm -hmm. to this? But you have some things that they wouldn't see anywhere else. No, absolutely, and we, you know, that's that's just you know some of the exhibit components that are that are even there. You know, there are many other things that are within that one exhibit, um, and we have you know seven seven other exhibits that you know range from building and architecture and design um, to nature and the environment. Our um, eConnect exhibit, which actually um, has a brand new component that just opened up about a month and a half ago, which is a touch tank aquarium, uh, which wow. is incredible, and we're so excited to offer it because it really adds a new enriching layer to programming, to visits to the museum, um, because now there are, there are live animals that you don't only get to you know see and interact with, but you get to reach in and, and touch. What are the animals? So we have uh, three main categories. We have our sharks and our stingrays. Um, and then we have uh, some colorful fish. Those are your you know tangs. Um, a lot of kids will recognize one of them as a dory from Finding Nemo, okay. um, and some big-eyed squirrel fish, which look like goldfish with giant eyeballs. <laughs> and then we have our marine vertebrates. You can't touch them, though. These, they, they, I mean, if you're, if you're, really? if you're fast enough, but they're, they're pretty fast. Um, you know, they don't really like to but be bothered too much. But you can put your hand much. in with Absolutely. them. Absolutely. Wow. But um, my favorite part of it, in addition to just the sharks and the rays, are our marine invertebrates. So we have starfish, we have horseshoe crabs, uh, sea snails, and sea urchins. Um, the horseshoe crabs being my personal favorite, just because it has such a nice tie to Delaware. And also, you don't really get to see them interacting, um, typically, when you're at the beach. You might see some horseshoe crabs that, um, you know, might come ashore uh, and you see, 
usually they're dead at that point and you see their shell. But what's interesting about our touch tank is that it's completely see-through all the way around. So you can actually see the horseshoe, horseshoe crabs as they're interacting in their environment. And the fun thing that I learned is that they swim upside down. Um, wow. So they actually flip on their back and then they just start scooting around, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, the whole place sounds pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to come with my kids. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people that are watching this now that w are going, wow, that's amazing. I want to take my kids to it. So uh, we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll get the particulars on how Absolutely. people can get to the museum mm -hmm. and how much what they should do. They can eat there, right? You have a restaurant. And well, we don't, but you can bring your own food or go to the one, of, one of the many riverfront restaurants that are right next door. So you can leave and come back on, on the same ticket. Absolutely. So we can talk about that and also what's ahead and what kind of events you have coming up over the next sure. couple of months that people could enjoy when we return to talk more about the Wilmington Children's Museum on the Delaware Way right after this.